Hello Thanos, uh, good morning. So this is a short video to uh, try to describe to you the startup uh, and shutdown sequence that I go through with the uh, six degree of motion software using the uh, Thanos uh, uh, motion controller. So uh, this is the cockpit here and <clears throat> in the, I've got all the lights on so the contrast on the display will be a little bit uh, reduced, but I'll try to show you what I have here. Uh, usually I start all the applications up with the uh, P3D motion or P3D simulator software minimized, as you see here. Now that's the initial uh, unexpanded uh, warp display. Uh, once that is set up with the flight model, I'll then go to the uh, startup switch for the uh, power on of the motion uh, platform. So that is this module right here with the red stop button and the switch. So currently it's status LEDs, this is off of your motion controller, uh, is uh, in the park position. The switch, the red switch is pushed in, meaning that there's no power going to the servo controllers. So the first thing I'll do is to release that switch and then that will power up the controllers. Uh, at that time, the uh, motion controller, your controller, will start to move the servo uh, and levers to their uh, limit switch initialization position. So I'm going to turn that power on now. You heard the contactors engage. Come down the ladder here. So what we have now is this is just one of the actuators. You can kind of see all of the actuators here. But this is one actuator that's about to encounter the limit switch. You can hear the sound. So all of the actuators have now encountered the limit switch, uh, their respective limit switch, and the motion platform is, uh, is active, that is to say, in its uh, park uh, pos position. I usually do that when all of the applications are started up and I'm in the cockpit, so now I'll come and sit down. And uh, then I'll go ahead and put this switch in the uh, online position. Well, for the BFF motion software, that means go to its active mode, which is currently its startup mode, which is its hold position. So looking at the BFF software here on the screen, and uh, this is a warp display, so the resolution is very poor in the text desktop mode. However, when it expands, it goes into the HD mode. So I have the BFF software here in its, uh, see if I can zoom in on this, its hold position. So the minute that I put the uh, motion switch, uh, your controller switch to its online position, as I'll do now. The platform goes to its up hold position as commanded by the BFF software. So uh, BFF software is in its hold uh, mode. The status switch in the cockpit for the controller is in its online mode. Okay. At this point, I can uh, use the keyboard function, which is a slash, I believe it's the uh, backslash uh, drive position, that is backslash D, and that will bring the platform up to its drive level position, ready to receive motion cues from the simulator through the uh, uh, BFF software to your controller 
uh, onto the uh, servo actuators. So I'll take the keyboard downstairs here on the floor so you can see what happens when I push uh, control uh, D, that is the backslash D, which will bring it into the drive mode. And then I'll do the same thing going to the uh, back down to the hold mode. So I'm using my phone camera here. It's a little bit funky, um, but it works. This is a cool keyboard, by the way. This is a Jelly, uh, what is it called? Jelly Comb. Really nice little portable wireless keyboard. Okay, so here I am. Um, I'll put the camera in the wide angle mode here. And I will press the uh, backslash and drive key. See if I can do this. Maybe a stretch. Backslash and drive. So. Okay, so the status switch up in the cockpit will still say online, and its power um, switch, cutoff switch, is active. I actually have two of those. Um, one is located down here on the box. This indicator right here, that's actually uh, a switch. So if I uh, push that in, it'll cut power to the servos. It's basically a, a kill switch in parallel, uh, pardon me, in a series with the cockpit kill switch. So that's a safety. Uh, I'm going to relocate this switch so it's uh, more accessible out of the way of the motion platform such that someone could kill the platform power uh, externally. Okay, so that's the drive mode. And uh, as you can see, the platform here is elevated to its mid position, again, ready to receive uh, motion cues uh, to the BFF software, to your controller, to the servo controllers. Again, the servo controllers are organized in this central box underneath the motion platform. Turned out to work fairly well because it's uh, relatively out of the way and everything is well organized inside. Don't know if you can kind of see this, but anyway, that seems to work well. Okay, the actuator levers you can see are all in their respective mid position. And what I'll do now is do a backslash H, which will put the BFF software in its hold position, and the uh, platform will drop down to the hold uh, position for all the levers. So here goes that function. It does this very smoothly, and now it's in its uh, hold position. So the indicator in the cockpit, see if I can, I can't zoom in on that, but uh, you can see that it is, uh, there's a little green central in this video is that little green LED. Now, if I go back up in the cockpit here, which is what I typically do when I finish a flight, because this is a life support system, I want to make sure all the power is off before we get in and out of this, uh, this simulator. So um, what I'll do here is to bring it to the hold mode. You can see the BFF software is now back in its hold mode. And the sequence that I use is to kill the power and then I and this is not I didn't activate the light on this switch because it's just too bright in the cockpit but the switch is pushed in and then I will take the uh, switch put it in the park position so now 
the uh, motion controller is essentially uh, uh, in a offline parked mode and it's not able to receive uh, any any uh, signals further it's not it doesn't have any power going to the servos therefore the whole platform is dead from a uh, operational standpoint uh, for the display uh, you can see this is P3D, Prepare 3D, and this is just a uh, uh, minimized screen. The ar little arches there on each display represent each di uh, projector as they have been uh, blended and warped by the PixelWix warping software. So I'll go ahead and do a uh, an Alt-Enter. That'll bring this display uh, full resolution. Okay, so that brings it full resolution, and now it is properly blended. This is a 210-degree display, left side, looking toward the pilot's viewpoint, straight down the taxiway, and then over to the right on the first officer's side, and uh, there you go. So, um, hope this video was helpful to you. Um, that's how I uh, start up and shut down. And uh, thank you so much for some of the, uh, the mods you've made on this to make this a, a, a much more uh, functional uh, piece of uh, software that is the firmware for your uh, wonderful controller. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, just give me a text or a call. Take care.